Now at 11, a murder mystery deepens in Coral Gables. A 23-year-old University of Miami student found dead in his apartment. Now this happened Sunday just off campus. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live in Coral Gables with an update. Hank? Well, if the police have been here since Sunday afternoon, round the clock, trying to figure out just exactly what went down in apartment 20. Now tonight, they went into apartment 40 to gather evidence. Here's the very latest. Well into the night, Miami-Dade homicide detectives going door to door at the Santona condo building across from the U of M campus. At one point, having a lengthy conversation with a young man wearing a mask. The Miami-Dade police investigate homicides in Coral Gables. I saw them loading the body when I was leaving for work this morning. That was a little bit harrowing. Dead is 23-year-old Yasser Abdul Faraj, UM architecture student from Saudi Arabia, found by his roommate Sunday afternoon. Police have not found the killer, and that concerns the residents. I'm scared because now I don't know who did it, and if it's someone from the outside, although they usually say with murders it's someone who's known to the person who mm -hmm. died. The murder scene inside the apartment number 20 was described as gruesome, multiple trauma, we're told, but police closed mouth about the major details. The police are disturbed. You have a 23-year-old male that is in university trying to better himself. So because he has a future ahead of him and because of the, the incident and the, the magnitude of this incident, it's really, really disturbing. And disturbing to students of the University of Miami just across US-1, where U of M architecture students gathered to hear the dean of the school inform them of the death. And condo residents seeking answers from police. And I said, should I be worried? Can I sleep at home? And they said, uh, while we're here, you shouldn't be worried. But again, that doesn't leave me with much. Uh, I, I mean, I didn't necessarily sleep well knowing that. Police are working hard on this case. They also need your help. If you've heard anything, know anything about all this, 305-471-TIPS, that's Crime Stoppers. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News Tonight. Back to you.